I am I am very new to doTERRA. Um, I, my husband, Tracy, and I have only been doing this for a year. Actually, last month was, oh, last month was our um, anniversary month of one year. And I have only been a wellness advocate since March. So this is all fairly new to us. This is my first class, so y'all just bear with me. Um, it's not going to be a fancy class because I don't have any pictures or slides. I don't know how to do any of that stuff yet. Um, my three-year-old granddaughter actually knows how to do my iPad better than I do. <laughs> so, this is, you know, she's like, damn, I can do all that. I can do all this kind of stuff. So she's really expert at all this kind of stuff. She could probably present better than I can. So like Shailene said, I have three children. My oldest daughter um, is a assistant principal up in Fort Worth. My son is a lead butcher here in Oak Hill. And my youngest daughter is... Um, here in Backstop. I have three grandchildren with our fourth grandchild due in November. Yay. Um, um, and like Shailene said, my husband and I, we've been married for almost 32 years. Um, sometimes it seems a lot longer and sometimes a lot less. <laughs> um, but he did meet the Levitts. Um, he was called on them to do some construction work at their house. And I think he was having some pain. He's got a lot of joint pains and stuff. And Leanne was talking to him about the oils. And so he said, well, let me let you talk to my wife because she's got some issues. Well, I've had 30 years plus of gastrointestinal issues that I've had. And I've had over 10 years of IBS. And then five years ago, my husband was diagnosed with cancer and he had cancer surgery. While his surgery was going on, I had a very severe bout of colitis. So that was very hard dealing with that and dealing with my husband's cancer. So when Leanne said, let me tell you about doTERRA. And she said, when she was telling us about it, and then she said, well, I've got a study that's going on. Would you be interested? And when I heard about the digestive study, I jumped on it. I was like so excited. And that has just changed my life. It was just like a life changer. I started taking the digestive, digestin soft gels, and I started using the digestin um, oil. And within a month, my IBS was under control. I pretty much stopped taking my IBS medicine, and I was hardly having any episodes with my IBS. In fact, I mean, it's been, I can't remember when. My husband was telling you that the other day. He was like, you know, I can't remember the last time you've had an episode and I was having them regularly, probably every couple of weeks I was having them. So now if I have one, which like I said, is very rare, I'll go lay down, rub a little bit of the digestion oil on my stomach, Within a few minutes, it's gone. So it is just amazing. I was going to ask somebody, I was going to ask y'all, do you, do you know what IBS? IBS is called irritable bowel syndrome. So it is where your intestinal tract gets inflamed. So there are certain things that I can and can't eat. And it's amazing how I'm not supposed to eat dairy. I can't eat nuts. I can't eat um, roughage things. Yes, both intestines. So it affects me from the top to the bottom. And I also have diverticuli, which is the little pockets in my intestines, which is how I got colitis. I didn't realize I was eating some peanut M&Ms. I just grabbed a couple of M&Ms on a trip, popped them in my mouth after I was chewing them, I realized, <gasps> Those were a couple of peanut M&Ms and that's how I got colitis. So it was just amazing to me since I've been on this stuff. It's and doTERRA. I'm able to eat, I'm not supposed to eat chocolate. Well, I've been <laughs> able to eat some chocolate. I've been able to eat cheese. You know, it has totally changed what I'm able to eat. And if I eat a little bit that I'm not supposed to, I'm able to use that. I laughed and said, uh, my granddaughter can't use the excuse that, oh, I can't do this because my stomach's hurting. So, you know, you just pull that digestion out, 
or the digestion roller, the touch and use that on them. So that, like I said, it has just been a life changer. Yeah. And my hormones are great. So I am postmenopausal, <laughs> and when I have been for, um, with no, um, actually they were, they were kind of um, wacky with for the oils. And so with some of the oils they were, but I was able to get my hormones under control with everything that I had going on in my life, just um, with my weight and everything. Talita is yes. full of questions. Good job, Talita. Yes. <laughs> yes. Digestive related. My hormones were fine. Everything was fine. Um, I had lost too much weight and I was too skinny. And so if you can be too skinny, um, I was too skinny. And so my doctor was like, you have to gain weight. You have to gain weight. And of course, in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> and so, um, yes, because of the IBS, I had lost too much weight. I wouldn't eat anything. Wow. I was afraid to eat anything. And so this last year I have gained 20 pounds. Wow. Now my doctor thinks it's great. My doctor is like, you're looking great. My husband likes it. <laughs> my husband says, wow, you know, you, you, he likes the way my body looks. Of course, I think I look too big, but you know, that's just my mindset that I have to get over in my mind. But I did. I am so sorry because you're talking about digestion and you're talking yes, about related issues. I have a lot of questions due okay. to the fact that I'm doing a study myself uh -huh. regarding hormone balance on the, uh -huh. on the, on the gut and digestive system. Uh -huh. Um, and that's something that is also connected emotionally. So as I'm asking you all of these things, due to the fact that I am so sorry that I'm bombarding you and probably okay. the one that I'm asking all these questions, I'm kind of doing the study that it kind of links in with also the Chinese medicine. So mm -hmm. all of these questions, I was really interested when Shalene sent this information because I wanted to see if there's a connection emotionally. And usually um on emotionally and hormonally how's everything is happening because essential oils are great i i mean it's an amazing thing but mm -hmm. all of these questions that i'm asking you you might not be able to answer them that's the reason okay. why certain people think that that hormonally is only reproductive system but hormones are actually from oh. the time from the time that comes out of the thyroid and your mm -hmm. thyroid could be completely well balanced on the process of the hormone but then when mm -hmm. it gets into the digestive system, it, it, it kind of doesn't balance things out. So that's the reason okay. why I, I'm so sorry I'm bombarding you. But oh, those no, you're are fine. Have. You're Thank absolutely you. fine. So give us your thoughts, Rhonda. On the digestion? <laughs> or yeah. what well, you were saying? Hormones and digestive system. Do you have any input on that? That, that it could uh, be? I haven't really studied on that, so I don't know a whole lot about, but that is absolutely interesting. So I am curious yeah. about that. So Me that too. is something I would absolutely love to get together with you about. Yeah, and Talita, we'll maybe have you teach a class. So get your studying going. <laughs> yeah, because that would yes. be absolutely interesting because I am very curious about that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yes, and it's also a mindset. So yes. because I was when I studied massage therapy, uh, the reason why I was going in and I won't get into the story, it was just intuitive. And as I'm, as I'm gone through life and I moved around in eight different States and two countries, um, I've learned something new, but I always came, kept coming back to the holistic aspect mm -hmm. of it. And the way that I met Shalene was very interesting. But, um, with that said, I also have a book that has essential oils and the diet. And so with all of that, I'm like, okay, I need to get into this. And I think that essential oils, um, there was for a reason why, you know, spiritually, scripturally, meaning religiously and everything else, they talk about the word of wisdom, right. And, and how we should take care of our bodies. So that's the reason why I'm trying to get together and trying to see, and this is a very important topic. So I will continue to listen to you and, um, and share this with with us so that way we could learn more love it thank you yeah. Talita. that's awesome yeah, that would be great and like i said we can always uh i can always our shailene can always get you my number and we can hook up and discuss more because that is absolutely fascinating to me 
it, like I said, it was just like a life changer. It just like the light bulb went off and I was just like, wow, this is amazing. And it did open up a whole new avenue of food for me, a whole new lifestyle. It was just absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to y'all about the three different types of digestin that I used, which was of course the digestin essential oil, digestin touch, and then the digestin soft gels. Um, digestin um, is one of doTERRA's most popular essential oils due to its profound effect on the digestive system. It, also, it helps the occasional upset stomach and it helps your gastrointestinal health system. Digestion essential oil is great to have on hand for all your digestive support needs, whether it's upset stomach or maybe you've just had a little too much to eat. Digestion is made up of CPTG certified pure tested grade oils. Um, the CPT process, ugh, process certifies that there are no added fillers, synthetic ingredients or harmful contaminants in the essential oils that would reduce its efficacy. Digestin contains coriander, ginger, and fennel to help ease the occasional stomach discomfort, motion sickness, and indigestion. It also contains peppermint, ansi, and caraway that are well known for their ability to aid in digestion, and help maintain a healthy gastrointestinal tract when taken internally. There are three different ways that you can use digestin, aromatic, topical, and internal. Aromatically, digestion has a spicy, sweet licorice smell. So you can diffu diffuse it with three or four drops in a diffuser. You can take it um, digestion and put it on your stomach before you go traveling and that will help calm any jittery nerves, motion sickness. The smell gives you a calming feeling. So next we're going to talk about the topical and internal uses you can use digestion for. Now remember if you're going to use it internally, um, be sure you use a glass container because plastic will degrade over time if you use in the plastic. And also not all essential oils can be used internally. So you wanna be sure and check the uh, bottle and make sure that it says supplemental facts on it. As a bottle does not have the supplemental facts, do not take that oil internally. Drop my papers here. All right, so it's it. If you are looking for a healthy and natural way to assist your digestive system, digest, you know, it's hard to say digest and digest them that, that over is. and over. And because <laughs> I've done the care for six years, I can't even say the word digest, digestion because I, I want so, to say digest then. I know. So y'all <laughs> forgive me if my tongue keeps getting tied up and it's like that, that, that. So if you're looking for it's a healthy six times fast, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm just gonna, sorry if I just so I was practicing this today with my three-year-old granddaughter, and she kept she finally put her hands over her ears and she just said, Wow, just stop. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> and I was like, Okay, babe, I guess I'm just gonna have to call Turkey this thing and read my notes. So I mean I've been practicing it before, but I just want to do it one more time, and she's just like. Oh. Like, okay, from the mouth of a three-year-old. <laughs> so um, if you're looking for a healthy, natural way to assist your digestive system, digestion is ideal. Digestion will naturally aid your body um, in the digestion of food. You can put a couple of drops in your water, or you can always put one drop underneath your tongue. For the occasional upset stomach, that will is unpredictable that just kind of comes out of nowhere, which those seem to be what happens with IBS. Um, you can put a couple of drops in the affected area. Usually mine is right around the belly button area. So that's where I put mine. Just put a couple of drops, rub it around the belly button. I usually lay down and do that. Within 10 minutes, it's gone. It's amazing. That fast is how fast it happens. 
So what do vacations, holidays, and family get-togethers have in common? Food. Food. And usually lots of it. So it's a good thing to have digestion on hand because we usually tend to overeat at those times. And I know I'm really bad at doing that. So you want to be sure to use the digestion to help promote your body to have a good digestion process to get process that food through your body. And again, all of these pretty much you can either use topically or internally. A lot of the times if you're having the digestion issues, it's better to use it internally because that helps that digestion track to get going and moving. Whereas just topically will help with, with the uh, cramps, with that kind of crampy, yucky feeling which that's what we're going to talk about, bloating and gas, that yucky, yucky feeling that you have. Bloating and gas causes that sluggishness, the yuckiness. That you can put some on. It'll The, the digestion on your tummy will help with that. Taking it will help get rid of that gas out of your system because nobody wants to be gassy all day. And then you can get on with your day. Also, whether you are trying to put new cuisine from France or you're trying to eat your... Uh, Indian nice spicy food, um, foreign body, foreign body, <laughs> foreign food that we introduce to our bodies um, has a potential to disrupt your digestion system. So anything that your body's not used to is going to mess that track up. So you can always prepare your body beforehand, take some digestion, and um, we're going to talk about the soft gels. Take a soft gel before you eat so that your body, your tract is already getting ready for that spicy food or that different food that's gonna be coming into it. So it knows the digestive tract is already starting to do its work and be ready for that food that's gonna be coming down into it. Um, a relaxing way to use digestion is a stomach massage. You can use digestion, a few drops of it with some fractionated coconut oil give your stomach a nice good massage. This is good at any time. And the smell of the digestion is has a calming effect. So that will help calm you. Um, does traveling long distance bother you? Um, if you're planning a trip, you can always use digestion. My son used to hate to fly. I wish we had this when he was young. He still hates to fly now. So if he ever gets to fly again, um, it will be great for him. He used to, when we started talking about traveling, he would just start tensing up and his stomach would just get in knots and cramped. A few years ago, we flew to San Diego and he was married and had a seven-year-old daughter and he was gripping the seat like this. So this is perfect for that. Rub some on your stomach before you go. Like I said, it's going to ease you, you can relax, the smells will help relax you, and it will also get rid of any of those jitters that you will have. Um, it's also good for motion sickness. If you're having any type of motion sickness, digestion will work for that. And like I said before, a good way to incorporate digestion to just have a healthy digestive tract in your everyday life is use digestion in your water or if you drink tea. Just put a couple of drops in it and you can use it every day and it will help your digestive tract to be healthy and happy. So be sure you test your skin for sensitivity if you have sensitive skin. And if you're pregnant or nursing, you're gonna wanna check with your doctor about using this before you use it. So the next thing I wanna talk about is digestion touch. And digestion touch is pretty much the same thing as digestion, only it has fractionated coconut oil with it to dilute it, and it's in a nice, convenient roll of bottle. So this way, you have it where you can take it with you anywhere you go. It can fit in your purse, fit in your car. It's just really convenient, and it's good for everybody to use wherever they want. So main way you're going to use the digestion touch is topically of course, because it's a roller and it's easy to use topically. So use digestion touch by rolling it on the bottom of your feet after eating a large meal or for an upset stomach. 
Now the bottom of your feet are a really great place to apply oils because the skin is one of the, on the feet are one of the least sensitive areas that you have. And studies have shown that oils that are applied to the bottom of the feet will get to your body, will be through your entire body within less than 20 minutes. So if you put an oil on the bottom of your foot, it's gonna spread throughout your entire body in less than 20 minutes. So that's a great way to put those oils through your body. And also um, the feet have over 72,000 nerve endings in them. And that, that means that the feet have more sensitive nerve endings per square centimeter than anywhere else in your body. So that's pretty good. So applying, applying a massage and massaging your feet or specific parts of your feet can provide a direct response to certain body parts. And the body parts for your digestive area is on the inner um, arch of your foot. So if you're wanting to put that digestion, you wanna put it on the inner arch of your foot and do the rubbing in there. And that's gonna trigger your digestive, your stomach area, your digestion. All right, can digestion be used on babies and children? Yes, it can. All you need to do is dilute it or use the digest and touch. Um, it, uh, you might wanna use a sweeter smelling uh, oil than the digestion, which we do have that in the Tamer, which is in the kids collection. Um, and doTERRA's kids collections, all of them have a much sweeter smell than the regular oils do. So that's always an option for the children or even adults that don't like that licorice smell. Some people don't like them. Um, so that's always a good option for you. So with your children, you're gonna wanna roll the digestion, um, touch or the tamer blend on the um, tummy or the bottom of their feet as needed for an upset stomach. For long-term support, apply every few hours or twice a day um, on your child as needed. You can do this at a diaper change or during their potty time. And this is a great way of adding it to a habit that they already have. So this way you're doing something that's helping them and they're already have that habit of diaper changing or pottying, you just include that with them and that will help their digestive tract. For older children, you can put a drop of digestion in their water and have them drink it. And that's gonna help them have a healthy digestive tract. The third product that I wanna talk about tonight is one that I really love. Um, and it is the digestion soft gels. And the benefit, they have the benefit of the digestion just in the soft gels. Um, it's a soft gel that contains 120 milligrams of the digestion blend. Peppermint, coriander, ginger, caraway, cardamom, and antsy. Because they are all combined in a vegetarian soft gel that dissolves easily. The digestion soft gels provide the same stomach soothing digestive benefits as, di as digestion. These are what really helped my IBS. I mean, they are what I think just blew it away. You can take one or more soft gels daily as needed. And I, I wanna say I took them like three times a day with my, before my meals and it was just wonderful. And the benefits of the different oils in the digestion prep products are, peppermint is one of the most popular essential oils out there and for good reason. Internal use of peppermint offers a myriad of amazing benefits, including supporting healthy digestion. Peppermint oil can ease occasional upset stomach when ingested. The, the scent and flavor of peppermint oil is refreshing, minty, and airy. Coriander may aid in the healthy colon, and it has a cleaning, cleansing, and healthy, maintaining a healthy, gastrointestinal tract. 
ginger is distilled from ginger, right? Let's see if I can say this. Rhizome, which is often used in cooking. Ginger supports the digestive health and reduces nausea feelings. Caraway has been used to support digestion since ancient Egypt and written evidence dating to its use to at least 1550 BC. Caraway oil is distilled from the seeds of a sweetly scented herb in the carrot family, which I did not know that. Um, it is popular in Scandinavian, German, and Russian cooking. Um, cardamom adds to digestion and respiratory function. Cardamom is a relative of the ginger family and is known as the queen of spices. Cardamom supports gastrointestinal function and helps ease with indigestion. Fennel can relieve discomfort associated with indigestion and a healthy intestinal tract. Ansi is a sweet, sophisticated oil often used in baked goods and liquors in Europe to promote digestive health. It is a unique oil because it's steam distilled from dried ansi fruit, which produce a soothing oil and a licorice aroma and strong digestive benefits. Yeah, I think we're having just a little issue because it looks like Talita's accidentally sh screen sharing. Is that happening on yours? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh we're go. back. Okay, go ahead. All right. So, um, Rhonda, can I ask you a question real quick? Are you saying anise, A N I S E? Yes. Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> that's okay. I, I just wanted it, to be so. sure that that's what you were saying. I told you. Uh, that's okay. Thank you. No, thank you. I figured if I say it wrong, I wasn't sure how to say it. And it's, and it's, see, that's that's my French. That's my um, <laughs> knowing how to speak French. So I guess I'm saying it the French way. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, there's emotional uses for digestive blend digestion. The oils in this blend are useful in digesting of difficult emotions, assimilating um, new information and achieving a state of feeling nourished. I didn't know there was emotional uses for it. I also didn't know, uh, did you know, that digestion is not only good for stomach issues. I didn't know that. Um, I guess that's why you had me do this, Shailene, so I could yeah. learn new things. That's what happens when you <laughs> teach. You always learn more than, than you ever knew. It's antibacterial properties also make it useful um, for sinus infections. Apply digestion to the temples and behind the ears. You can also release sinus pressure and inflammation, also known as stuffy noses, by applying it to the nose area, which that was news to me. So I have heard of that. So um, as I mentioned before, doTERRA has changed my life. Um, after being on doTERRA for just six months, I was able to cut my blood pressure medicine in half and stop several of my medicines. Um, it's just been incredible, this whole journey that I've been on. Um, I'm probably going to get emotional here. Um, it has helped a lot of people in my family. Last year, my mom was diagnosed with stage three esophageal cancer. And she had radiation and chemotherapy and she's now cancer free. We got her to start taking the, um, the living vitality. Long, long, li yeah, life I have it written down. Life, life, I can't long vitality, read yep. Thank you, my eyes are. Um, those and several other oils and people are just amazed at how well she looks and how well she's doing so that's one of my main reasons for wanting to share doTERRA I'm just so excited about this I'm wanting to share it with everyone so thank you guys for letting me share this with you I know 
it's been kind of rocky and I'm just starting. So I hope my next one will be better. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh my goodness. Now, Rhonda. Now you know what I love? Take, what? <laughs> what? Go ahead. No, I was going to say she did not take oils during her chemotherapy. They did not want her to do anything. So it was very hard for me to get the doctors to, they were very cautious about what she did because of her stage three cancer. Um, she was, she had been on Zantac for 30 uh, years. Yes, she started the oils after the therapy. So she was on Zantac for over 30 years and they believe that that's what caused her cancer. And so um, as soon as we could, I mean, we got her, Leanne, I told Leanne, I went, she actually started with a sleep study. My mom wasn't sleeping and she was just like, I, 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 she, I'm only get three or four hours sleep. So I started her, I gave her some serenity one night, a couple of pills and I gave her the oils and stuff. And the next morning she said, I slept eight hours. That is the first time. And she said, I put the oils on, took them, laid down and I was asleep. Mm. And I was just like, so that's, and she said, I want to, and she left California the next day and I gave her the stuff. And then Leanne came and we did a class with her. And so it was just, and this is my whole, sorry, I got emotional there, y'all. This is my whole thing. Like I talked to Leanne and it's just, I just want to share it this natural way instead of all these chemicals and mm -hmm. medicines and everything. So Thank you guys. Thank you, Rhonda. Your emotional just shows us how passionate you are about it. So thank you for that. And um, I wanted to say how, how real you were in sharing what you did and just give you a few kudos. Uh, you were better at reading the chat, responding to questions and doing it Sorry. <laughs> than anybody that's ever taught. You were on point. So I am very impressed, very impressed. And I'd love to share one more little tidbit. Digest Zen also comes in a tab. It's a digest tabs. It's kind of like a, a Tums. And uh -huh. I do not like the taste of digest Zen. So this tab, this tab tastes terrible to me. And somebody gave me the suggestion of putting a couple of drops of wild orange on it. And the few oh. times I've used it because I needed it. Oh my goodness. Those digest tabs just take care of when you're really not feeling well right away. Kind of like yeah. Tums. So it's just nice to have something natural to try and use. Yeah, that, that is good. Because I was I was telling Leanne, I, I mean, I take several other products with the digestion stuff. I take the PB plus and I take the Terrazyme and mm -hmm. all those other things. But I just focused on those because I didn't want to yeah, do a whole lot. But yeah, yeah. that was so. awesome information. And you I don't it. even I don't even keep I didn't even know what it's called anymore. The stuff that I used to take for di diarrhea. That yeah. you buy over the counter. Yeah. I don't even keep that in the house anymore. I just use digestive. Yeah, I mean, I got Zen rid of off a lot of my medicine. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just been wonderful. So thank you guys. That's awesome. Thank you, Rhonda. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Okay, next week we have a class on Copaiba. Um, Patty's going to teach us about Copaiba. For those that don't know, I call it doTERRA's CBD oil. So natural and it has so many benefits. So come learn about that next week. We are starting a study this Thursday. If you know of anybody that's interested in, and Rhonda mentioned it many times that it's changed her family's life. There's digestive study, sleep, mood or anxiety and pain. So those, they can choose one of those, get free products to try for a week. And if they're interested in using a little Facebook support, there's a group that gets on and questions are answered throughout the week. It starts with a Zoom class, it ends with a Zoom class. It's a week long of taking the product and then just kind of marking each day how they're feeling. I would say out of, I've probably helped maybe 30 people with the study and I think 28 of them went from a three to a seven, eight or nine. It was just, there was a lot of help. So if you know anybody that would like to try these studies, please let me know and I can help them get going on that. Um, and then the last thing I just wanted to mention was, um, and I'm going to get emotional. I find that sometimes doing these classes, I might feel like I'm boring you guys. Thank you for getting on. And then I listen to Rhonda, who is new and excited because it's changed her life. And I get emotional because that's why I do this. 
I do not do it because I'm making mucho money. I do it because I care about helping people and I want to help you. I want to help people you know. Please help spread the word so we can help more people try these natural products. It's wonderful. Rhonda, great job tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. All right. We're going to pause for about 30 seconds and then start our business meeting. Thanks for all coming. And you're always welcome to stay on for the business meeting too. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Linda. Stop recording. Oh, thank you.